Do you know what it means to fail forward fast? Well, Stephen Schusler's chapter 18 in the book, it's a jungle in there, is titled, Learn from Failure, Graduate to Success. And the quote is a Chinese proverb. It says, The gem cannot be polished without friction, nor the man perfected without trials. Now, the whole idea, feel for, uh, fail forward fast, I believe I picked up from uh, another marketer and, and actually, uh, i trying to think, what was the word, a hypnotist, uh, Marshall Silver. And the whole idea behind it is that, you know, in life you're not going to have everything go perfect. You are going to fail. Okay? It's guaranteed that you're going to try and try and try, which we talked about in a previous chapter, but you are going to have times where it just doesn't work or maybe you're just going to be miserable at what you're doing and, you know, you're not going to see any success yet. You know, you're going to do everything that we tell you and sometimes it just might not work, you know, at first, but the idea is that you learn from those mistakes and you tweak them and you start to turn them around and make them work uh, for you. Again, once we can pinpoint, you know, maybe where you're struggling and exactly what you're doing, you know, even though you might be going through the steps, maybe you're not doing everything particularly uh, specific to what you should be doing. So, you know, we'll help you out. We'll help walk you through that um, to really get you going so that you can take it to that next step. Again, just failing forward fast finding out where your errors are and then moving to the next level. So uh, the self-examining question, can you experience failure and still retain the self-confidence necessary to seek success? You know, there's posters and there's quotes all over about, you know, people like Michael Jordan and, and, you know, Wayne Gretzky and, you know, some of these professional athletes that are known worldwide that have failed over and over and over again. If you think about, you know, baseball players, seven out of ten times they miss. You know, someone who only hits three out of ten times is considered, you know, a phenomenal athlete and they're batting 300. That's a really good average. Now, most people wouldn't consider, you know, trying an attempt. To, let's say I, I sent out ten emails and only three of them were opened. You know, that doesn't sound like a lot. But, you know, in the long run, the key idea is, okay, what else is converting? Are people actually buying that are opening those emails? Okay, you really have to consider the conversion idea versus just maybe the opt-in rate or, uh, you know, actually how many people are opening your email. So there's other things to consider when you're talking about the business. You know, I might have a huge list, but if no one's coming back to the store, there's a real problem. So in the chapter, he goes into detail, you know, and talking about times where, you know, he couldn't get any financial backers. He couldn't get, you know, people, you know, people maybe weren't coming to the restaurant or they were having issues and financial difficulties. But the idea is that he keeps sticking with it and he keeps, you know, changing and tweaking and making small things. Now, as a science teacher, we talk about that as well with the scientific method in that, you know, you may refute your hypothesis and you might find that your conclusion is totally different from what you expected. But the idea is that you do make some corrections, you know, maybe for the future test, you make some adjustments because you've learned something. Okay, Even though you learned something that you thought was different, you still learn something. You can take that into the next level. So, again, learn from your failures. This has been Dave Gardner.